What's up, friends? Rich DeBarrow here, Rich on Tech, here today with Praveen Aravind of Western Digital, and we're talking about this product called EB. That is correct. Thanks for joining me. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. This, I think this is a really cool product. Okay, I'm So glad. let me explain what this is. Basically, this is a network appliance that sits in your home. You connect it to your Wi-Fi. There's a hard drive inside and it basically ingests all the photos that you take from all the different places you have them, whether it's your phone, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram uh, and other sources like Dropbox. So they all kind of make their way into this device as a backup, but also for sharing. Correct, that is absolutely correct. That's probably the best summary I've heard anyone else other than me say it. Um, but yeah, like, like you mentioned, it does have a USB port in the back as well. So not only will it do all the social and the cloud accounts, it'll do your computer, your laptop, and any hard drives or any USB sticks that you may have lying around, even cameras and um, um, SD card readers as well. So if so, I have an old hard drive laying around the house that I'm like, one of these days, I'm gonna get to like importing all those pictures, but I don't wanna deal with it because there's like duplicates and stuff. Just put it in there and just get them backed up. Exactly. My mom's probably gonna kill me for saying this, but I actually brought this device home and my mom's favorite pastime is always, hey, I wanna find that photo from three years ago. And she hands me a box full of USB devices. I got this guy home, I gave her those USB devices and I said, honestly, it's gonna be so simple, you can do this. And I left her alone for a couple hours. She had that entire box of USBs, all centralized, ready to be searched, ready to be shared out with whoever she wants to share it out with. And that responsibility is no longer you, mine. You offloaded that I've completely offloaded it. It's Very awesome. Very smart. Okay, so um, you've got the hard drive in there. How big is the hard drive and how much can it hold? It's two terabytes. It can hold up to 500,000 photos or up to 200 hours of HD video. And can you link more than one of these together? Yes, you absolutely can. When you actually set up the device, you're actually creating an account and getting the EB device onto a Wi-Fi, very similar to how you've gotten a phone onto Wi-Fi in the last decade or so. Um, and when you do that, you actually create that account that's yours. You can add multiple EBs to that account. Okay, now in super small, text on the box <laughs> is SanDisk. So give me the uh, relationship. You've got Western Digital, which owns SanDisk, which makes EB. Correct. We we realize that the brand name actually holds a lot of presence to what you think of the minute you hear it. With EB, we really wanted to expand out of the storage realm and just having people thinking about the product as just storage. This guy can do more than just storage. It's all about sharing. It's all about engagement. It's all about bringing your favorite people together using this one device. Okay, so before we get into the sharing and all the organization, um, iPhone, I have iCloud. Does it work with iCloud and the pictures I've stored in iCloud and, and how? I'm so glad you brought that up. That is absolutely correct. We built this guy to be a companion to all of the sources you may already have. So the EB mobile app is actually intuitive enough to know whether your photos are being stored in iCloud and it'll actually go get the original quality photos from iCloud and save it to EB. We see EB as a perfect companion to any sort of storage that you have in home that you're using that's either physical or digital. Google Photos, can you get them off Google Photos? It's absolutely correct. Dropbox? Yep. Instagram? Yep. Facebook? Yep. Uh, what am I missing? Uh, you are missing OneDrive. OneDrive. And Google Drive. Okay. So, so we actually do support Google Drive as well. Okay. So basically wherever my photos are, I can get them in here. So once they're in this device, what is this doing? It's acting as a backup. It does a little bit of organization as well. So show me on the Correct. App, so what, it what it's actually doing is irrespective of where the content is coming from, we actually go ahead and group everything by the month and the year that they were taken. So I can actually go here and go as far back as 2007, oh, the wow. glory years. Um, this is actually my Facebook photos that are coming from 2007. Super awkward. <laughs> Definitely not something that I would want to show anyone, but this is my own kind of view of whatever I'm seeing, right? Um, it's never been easier to centralize all those things, and I did nothing to organize them. EB actually did all of that, all of that work for me. It'll actually do object detection that's running local on the box, and go ahead and find objects that are in photos. I eat a lot of cake, have had a lot of birthdays over the course of the multiple years, and if I'm looking for a particular cake, uh, or a particular birthday cake that I wanted to go ahead and share out, I can literally search for cake, load that photo, and be able to share it out that quickly. Okay, so while you're sharing it out, um, so it says send link, which is view only. Correct. Right, so you can send a link to someone, they get the high res picture. That is correct. Which is a nice, so tell me the delineation, like if you're sending a, a text message, a lot of times you're not getting the full res picture. You're no, getting you're a not. smaller compressed version. Right. This gives you the full thing, which I really like. Can you send multiple pictures at a time? Yes, you can select multiple items. You can even send an album, create an album and send it out. And what's really interesting is the person getting the link on the other end does not have to have an account, does not have to actually create uh, or download the app. And the files are being served from the box. 
So you always know that you're in control of what's being shared. And you don't have to worry about, oh, like what if I want to go delete that photo? You can actually just come in here and remove the link, which will just go ahead and wipe out the access to that content that's on the box. Okay, so let's talk about privacy since you sort of brought it up. Sure. Um, how much of my data is leaving this box to go off to Western Digital or sure. being scanned somewhere or analyzed or you know whatever. Absolutely, we built this device with privacy in mind. All we want to do is give control back to all of our users. So literally nothing leaves the box. All of the content is always stored on here. It's always being served from here. All the links are being attached to the files that are on here. We don't hold anything. Okay. All right, so you know about the privacy. Now let's talk about that uh, inner circle feature. So yes. this is kind of a, a way to share pictures privately with friends and family outside of the social media networks, right? That's correct. So we took a different spin on being able to bring people together and we created this concept called the inner circle. What the inner circle is, is really just a bunch of people that are, you are most close to being sharing this device together all storing separately and privately, but when they wanna go ahead and share, they have this nice feed that they can go ahead and post uh, multiple photos, videos, and go ahead and even have conversations around them. So here's a photo of me and my mom, and here is a comment from someone that's on the box with me. All of this, again, is being stored on the box, so nothing leaves the box. Okay. Uh, is there anything I'm missing? Any other features? Uh, you're an engineer on this box. So, I mean, is there anything that you're most proud of when it comes to this? Absolutely. I think we started looking at how we can get content to all of the devices that you have that you immediately use. We even have TV apps for this guy. Right now, we support Roku and Chromecast. You can load the Roku application, go ahead and log in, and you can see all of the content that's being stored on your EV on a larger screen. Do you think there's an opportunity for a device like this? Because so many people are trusting cloud storage these sure. days, which is fine. I mean, for the most part, you'll be okay. But you probably should have a copy of your picture somewhere that's not on a cloud. Correct. As a company, we always say it's better if you have two to three copies of whatever your precious memories are. So we built this guy to be a perfect companion to everything that you're already using. So we're not looking to replace anything. We're not saying stop using cloud, use this. This is the perfect companion in addition to all of that. And by the way, it is a one-way sync. So everything comes onto here, and when you do changes in Google Photos or iCloud, those pictures are still stored safely here. Correct, and we'll even take the second copy that you made with the changes and go ahead and import it as well. And again, that's keeping privacy in mind. You chose to buy this device, you chose to get stuff onto this device, so we respect what happens on this device. Everything just stays on that device. How much and uh, where and when? Uh, it's two terabytes, it's available now. Uh, it's $179.99 and you can purchase it on Amazon and meeteb.com. All right, Praveen from uh, Western Digital, EB, thanks so much for joining me today. Hopefully we answered all of your questions about this device. Uh, I'm very psyched about it because I love the idea that it's pretty much, you know, it's pretty much you set it up once and your pictures are going to be brought onto this device when you're sleeping yep. and when you're not really thinking about it. And you may never do any of the sharing stuff, but if you don't, you still know like in the future, like, hey, so I've got a safe. copy of my pictures like in a safe place. So I love that idea. Um, thanks so much for joining me. Thank Appreciate you so much it. for having me. Appreciate if it. If you have any more questions, uh, put them below. I'll do my best to answer them. Maybe Praveen will jump back in and answer <laughs> some of them as well on, uh, Absolutely. in the comments. But uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm Rich Shamiro, richontech.tv. I'll see you next time.